Alright, hello everybody and welcome to the game of Glendale Community College versus Initiating match. Chandler Gilbert. All right. Uh, we got our hero selections. We got to just wait and see who picks what. Right. A I lot of new faces on these rosters this time around. I am US Raccoon and casting with me is... My name's Ryan. <laughs> you got Ryan here. All right, Ryan, anything specific you want to see here? Uh, I mean, we've already, we're rolling out the game's about to start. Capture point on Lux. We've got Whirly on the Sigma and Mystic on the ball. That's going to be an interesting tank matchup here. I don't have a lot of experience with either hero, but this looks like it's going to be at the very least an interesting matchup. Like I said before, a lot of new faces on these rosters this time around, both for Glendale and Chandler Gilbert. So we'll see how this plays out. It looks like Glendale Community College is going for pressure on point right off the get-go. Chandler's trying their best to put up a decent fight, though. Mystic playing ball as well as he can. It looks like it. People down on both sides. It looks like Chandler Gilbert's pretty handedly winning this fight up one. Yeah, so typically as the match goes longer, it's just going to be harder for Glendale to find any value. Yeah. Especially with Mystic on this ball, not really able to, not really playing with his team here. And Glendale having, Glendale just having the Sigma just be, just a better main tank, I guess, would be the way to go. Would be the way to put it. Uh, they really need to prior. They really need to play off of what Mystic gives them, and it doesn't look like they're doing that too well right now. Mine's already out for, uh, already down for Mystic though. That's crazy ult charge. Yeah, it's just an interesting comp, just because typically with the ball you want to go in fast and get out quickly. With the symmetry, you just kind of want to. Yeah, stay I understand. Yeah, possible. I understand the. The Genji pick definitely helps with that. Started looking like a dive comp, and then they went Symmetra on a Mercy, which was really interesting. But I mean, it looks like it worked. Genji went in there, he went ham, picked up a three piece yeah, on their way to capturing the point. Oof. Tor Baptiste. They're switching it up. They're trying to take over this point and stand their ground. Genji is just in here. He is being a typical menace. Oh, that's an amazing rock. Oh, but no kill. They missed the primary fire. And Soggy tracks him down, though. And now the point is flipped again. They're going back and forth today. Now everyone's grouped up. Mercy's coming back from spawn. Yeah, so Chandler right now has five gold, so it's just going to be a little rough to... Yeah, they're ready, willing, and able to drop everything they have. And only Nano on the side of Glendale. Oh, that's a whiff on the rock. Out comes the visor. That gets one, that gets two. Oh, but he gets shut. Oh, did... oh no, never mind. He doesn't get shut down. That's a almost a full team wipe for the visor. Only two ults spent for one fight. Not bad by Chandler Gilbert, doing really well on those ult rotations. They still have Flux and Window here for the for the next fight. Mystic coming up on his mines though. With no Molten Core to stop him from rolling wherever he wants. Ooh. Dot Rider looks like he's gonna go down there. A little weird that he decides to try to fight the turn out in the open like that. Mines come out once again from Mystic. But they're already down too, and here comes the Flux. A little bit late. 
don't think that was the right call there. I feel like they probably could have saved the flux and still won the team fight. Oh, but the game's done and dusted with like that. 1-0. On to the next capture point. Did you want them to save the all for Overwatch 3 or what? <laughs> I didn't I was my that was that was on me. I wasn't I wasn't paying attention to the capture percentage. Now now looking back on that, now that I see that they actually did um that they were about to win the game. That was definitely the play. Now like we're looking like we might go a little bit more dev. Oh, but we're also going with a soldier instead. The Lu I like the Lucio. I'm always I'm always up for some Lucio on both sides. Both these teams know that this is the this is the time to pull them out here on well. Yeah, I can typically expect some funky um, boops off the map. Ooh. Hopefully, we'll see. And hey, with ball on the other side, with ball on the side of Glendale as well. He looks like he's going to try cooking with gas here. He's already hiding and waiting. He's waiting for the perfect opportunity. They're not on it. They're not in point. And they also brought in Orissa, which is going to be pretty much impossible to boop off unless you catch them completely off guard. Mystic is just being as annoying as possible. Did he overstep? Ooh, just barely making it out alive out of that one. This Orisa already just being an absolute annoyance on the point. Still hasn't flipped either way, but it looks like Chandler Gilbert is winning this fight up by two members already. Oh, but down goes Whirly. Oh, and they flip it around. <sighs> Glendale That's a, that's a oh, keeping the ball. point alive. It can just be a little difficult to actually find value in the front line. It really is, especially especially on ball. You just can't really do that right now, especially when the other team has a tank like Arissa and she can just run at your team even more effectively than, than Ball can at this point. He's already got his mines up. They got Visor and Valkyrie on the other side though. Mines come out for Mystic. Deadeye is now available as well. Dot getting dove. It looks like Dot's almost by himself here. Ooh, and out in the open Deadeye. That's a very interesting play there. Nah, nothing really comes out of that one though. <sighs> Stun into the wall, into the Orisa all, and he's down. Oh, Nano onto the Hammond though. He's going crazy. They flip the point to the other side here after using quite a few ultimates. Yeah, Three ultimates for the point tank. Yeah, for the, probably for taking the their point. bead in order to save, um, to stay alive in front of the wall or the window. Yeah. That's if the window gets placed correctly, putting the window in the wrong place and then oh, they don't even need bead. They could just play cover. Oh, no beat. Rusty Hades goes down and there's no more beat. Oh my god, that's an amazing knife by Whirly. And just like that, down two, almost three players. Kid Cuddy looks like he's gonna get chased. He's still not out yet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and there's Whirly once again. They're gonna flip it just like that. The Hondo swap could provide a couple more picks. We'll yeah. See. Oh, another another set of mines for Mystic here. He's getting these like every 20 seconds. It feels like it. It's almost like they're on a cooldown and not a charge. Everyone on Glendale is kind of struggling here, though. Oh God, the Torbjorn is going crazy tonight. Let me rephrase that. The Torbjorn turret seems to be going really good. Oh, the Soldier 1v1! Soggy takes an L on that one, though. Here comes the res. Here's part two. Doesn't look like doesn't look like either of them wants to give this up. Mystic fighting for his life on point. Here comes the Molten Core. Not a lot of value on it. They get two. Two swing. One swings back the other way. Make that two as well. <laughs> B came out, to and that's a... Yeah, the point flips. There goes their beat, though. 
Yeah, so right now they do have Visor and Rampage coming up. Um, and Rampage. I, I just find it a little hard. They, they're gonna have to build up this uh, counter Visor to be able to nano. See if they can make some magic happen. Yeah, nano is up though, so they can make something happen here. Chandler Gilbert coming up on Valkyrie though. Two ults against one. We'll see what happens here. Here comes the scream. They're immediately going for the Ana. Out comes the visor. There's one. There's two. T gets a third. And just like that, the point is basically guaranteed to flip back the other way. Just like that. Oh, and Whirly with these amazing knives. He does not let the Ana get away. And that's going to be a 2-0 vic. Oh, no. <laughs> Mystic came in to stall the point at the last second. Mystic's doing his best to keep the clock running as long as possible, but Chandler Gilbert does not want to let Glendale win this one. They are pressing as hard as they can to get in there. Glendale forcing their way in, but they're they're dropping like flies. Ooh. Ooh. Rut, rut, that was a real rough engage there for for Glendale. Not not really able to play the game they wanted to, it seems. Yeah, so Ball just makes that a little difficult just because it's not like Overwatch 1 anymore. Like, you, with the, you only have one tank, so... Mm-hmm. The 5v5 really, really just was not favorable to tanks like Ball. And these visors, like, they were getting two, three kills every visor. Soggy really putting on a great showcase here on, on Soldier. Well, that goes 1-0 to... Okay. All right. So, audio's not in there right now. Uh... Yeah, you're good to not mute. Um, and hopefully I'm not too loud. They just said to turn me up. All right. All right. Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be round two of Glendale versus Chandler Gilbert. All right. We're looks like we're on the fan favorite.
King's Row here tonight. Of course, most people know it as Grim's Row. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah, so I, I'd expect them to switch up their uh, comp here for Glendale. Definitely, definitely. It looks like... It, so it looks like Chandler Gilbert's going to be on the tag round one, bringing out the Zarya, Zarya and Sigma as the opposing tanks. Marmilo on the Bastion. Mm. It looks like they're going to want to try to just hopefully win the choke battle here. Is victory so important? All right, so Glendale being on Zarya, that's actually very interesting. Why it has been here? somewhat meta. Uh, typically, you just don't bubble yourself Why anymore. You just bubble your allies here? as much as possible. Let them Stay play aggressive. Frosty. Yeah. Junkrat is going to do really well into some of these picks and then really poorly into the Sigma. Um, we'll see how that works out for... We'll see how that works out for Glendale. Zenyatta is an interesting one. Don't really see a lot of Zenyatta play recently, but definitely can work out. They're already at the choke. One bubble down. They are they are going in there. Whirly is not giving up an inch, and Junkrat's already dead. Down goes the Zenyatta as well. Genji dashing in. That's a third. <laughs> and wow, that's just a clean fight that there's not much you can say about that they went in they got it done yeah i mean four they're... down in the blink of an eye they don't look like that was really contesting the high ground much so once again Jun and bastion just took the high ground it's just absolute destruction after that there was just nothing they could do yeah Oof! some late kills there they're gonna have to come they're gonna have a long way to walk after that one Oh no, and more, it looks like they're gonna get a couple, might get another stagger kill here. They're gonna, they're gonna be fighting 3v5 for a couple, a, a decent amount of time here. They're doing their best to hold their ground. But that was a lightning fast capture for Chandler Gilbert. Oh, Zenyatta's already dead. You don't like to see that. And there goes McCree. That's two down already. That's going to be loads of capture progress for Chandler Gilbert. And they're just going to keep pressing W. They are not giving this up. The Whirly is just doing the utmost right now. He's having a great night. He's having a great time right now. Sorry, is about to go down too. Ooh. Yeah, and that is see, not what you like to see. Those are just struggling to maintain high charge. You can't really be using your bubbles personally like that. Oh, this is a very terrible stagger. <laughs> this, yeah, no, that Ana should have just died as soon as possible to regroup with their team faster. Oh my, gee, my goodness, this is. I would love to see Glendale here use your, your grab aggressively and actually use it in combination with Hyrule. That would be a great play, but they're going to have to get rid of Barrier for something like that to work. The grab's ready. The high noon's just a little bit off the mark here. There goes in the flux, though, before they can do anything, and that's three with the blade. Four! Just in the blink of an eye again. Mystic jumping off to reset. That's a good, that, that, that's the good play right there. They're going to regroup and get there before the cart's even halfway through the next point. Genji already locating on the high ground. This Genji is just ready for anything right now. They got the high noon ready. They got transcendence as well for another offensive ultimate. Bastion raining hellfire. Oh, the discord forces him back though. Can't do too much when you're discorded unless you want to risk getting absolutely blown up. There goes the crab! And the nano! Oh, but it doesn't look like they're getting much return off of it. They oh, there we go! Never mind! The high noon! Four for Glendale. And Chandler Gilbert is sent hacking just like that. Yeah, that's a very crucial nade needed from uh, Diana. Oh. And we got a pause. Oh, look, real quick pause here. But that that was a great fight for Glendale. That's a lot of momentum taken away from Chandler Gilbert that they're going to need to come back, especially now that they used one of their ultimates. Hopefully, whoever disconnected can get back as soon as possible here. Yeah, this is what we need to see from Glendale, actually. Using ults aggressively, going first, because if yes. you sit there and take the damage, it's not going to work out. 
We also need to see them playing properly as a team. They got picked off in the first fight and the second fight. They were just walking in there one by one, almost ba basically, and the Ana just deciding to run around the map instead of resetting, it burned a lot of time. Or more so, it gave it gave Chandler Gilbert a lot of progress, and they're almost fully, they, they're about to fully capture the point. Glendale's going to really have to start playing lights out defense right now if they want to even stand a chance with this amount of with this amount of time left on the clock. Four and a half minutes. I mean, I've seen crazier holds. They, I believe, they can pull it off. True. We we they, this game is not over yet. Definitely, this game is not over till that clock hits zero or that counter hits three. So, right, one way or another, we're going to see how this goes. Glendale still has hope to win. Ooh, it looks like their fifth is really struggling to get back in here, but... All right, here we go. Oh. We're going in. Oh, nope, there he is. Okay. I just need to be very careful with the Bastion. Yeah, this Bastion's not oh. gonna... Oh, Whirly! Getting absolutely obliterated! The switch onto the Farah, uh, that's an interesting choice. They do have to what? They do have to be mindful of the line of sight of Bastion. But other than that, there's not really anything that can contest this Farah on, on the side of Chandler Gilbert. I mean, I guess technically the Ana, but that's a big ask from a support like Ana. Maybe if it was in a lorry or something like that, maybe it'd be easier. Really interesting angle he's taking here. Really good, it seemed, at least, for a, for a second there. Oh, a swap onto the Zarya. Oh, but he gets caught out in the middle of the air. There goes the Farah and the Soldier, and down goes the tank. Not a good fight there. Oh, late kill onto the Ana. Chandler Gilbert looks like they're picking up the steam. They're picking up where they left off, unfortunately for Glendale. A swap onto Symmetra? This will be an interesting pick, definitely. Down goes the Farah. Kenji not letting him escape. Oh, here comes the Grav! Ooh, no kills from the Grav. Unfortunately, this Bastion pouring down damage onto the point here. Oh, and there goes another four, and that will be the map or well i should cap. say the round yep Ooh, that's a full cap and they still have 250 on the clock not a great defense by glendale they're gonna have to really start playing they're gonna have to really start cooking with gas if they want to make a comeback here this is match point for glendale if they don't make it all the way to the end if they don't full cap here it's game over yeah, the swap to Farah is definitely interesting. It's just unfortunate how it ended up playing out. This this team needs to Glendale Glendale really needs to hit their stride here and really start. You know, they really start needing to play a little bit more as a team here. It feels like someone's getting picked off here, one or another. Ready for battle. There's always there's always something that goes wrong on the side of Glendale. Whether it's because CGC is taking it, or whether it's because Chandler Gilbert's taking advantage of a, a really good position they managed to get themselves into, or if it's just Glendale just plain not grouping properly. One mistake, it feels like one mistake gets made by Glendale, and Chandler Gilbert just absolutely wipes them out every time. I mean, once you start dropping one person, then it just becomes really hard to come back. A 4v5 is way more impactful yeah. now. A 4v5, a 4v5 is a lot harder than the 5v6. Yep. It looks like they're staying on the Zen. Oh yeah, I'd like, I'd like to, I'd like to see a world where this Zenyatta works. It would be very interesting to see that happen. I love me some Zenyatta. They're going aggressive. This Genji Bastion combo seems to have been working out really well for Chandler Gilbert. Ooh, Whirly almost dead there. Bastion, though, picks up the first kill of the fight. And just like I said before, they're just capitalizing it and wiping the team almost entirely. This Kiriko, or no, this Ana, 
being really rather slippery. Zarya didn't didn't die, which is great for her. She gets to keep that 80 charge that she's got built up and ready for a second fight. Ooh, Nade's a little bit off the mark there, but that's okay. Oh, Jesus. Chandler Gilbert is absolutely lethal right now, though. Red hot. Just one by one, absolutely slaughtering Glendale. Yeah, so I do have... Glendale does have a uh, Nano coming up as well as Grab. Let's see if they can use, let's see if they can combine them like they did last round, but let's see if they can make it, let's see if they can make a play like that last them the whole map. That's the big thing here, is that they can definitely pull out a play or two, but it's gonna take more than a play or two to win them this game here. Flux is already ready. Nano does come game. out. Oh, and down go, oh, but out comes the Flux. Oh, they trade back and forth. There's still a two on three in favor of Glendale. Down goes the McCree, though. It doesn't look like they'll be able to cap this here. The Zarya goes down, and that looks like that might be the end of the fight. Oh, no, there's still a fight on point. Oh, no. A minute 50 left on the clock for Glendale. They really got to, they got to, it's now or never. The Genji's almost down. Out come, here comes the artillery strike. Blade is ready on the side of Chandler Gilbert. Oof, the Zarya is getting chased down. Out comes like Transcendence, though. It saves the Zarya, but they still have Blade on their side. Oh, no, 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 he popped it. That is huge. No value on the Blade. That's three. Not even the Sigma can keep up with that. That's three. They're not capping point. Okay, they went back to do it. They got to keep their foot on the gas here. They can't They can't give Chandler Gilbert an inch here. They need every advantage they can get coming into this next fight. Yeah, this is definitely where they, they can need start to get getting momentum. They have the grab, they have dragon. They have all the tools they need to full cap the next point. They do. A good grab dragon here, and that will be... That could definitely get them point two here. but they need to play their cards properly here. They can't just go in willy-nilly like this Arya. She's a little bit too far in front of her team. Luckily, they do have an Ana, so healing isn't an issue. Oh, here comes the grab. Where's the dragon? No dragon. A little bit of a missed opportunity, dare I say. The Hanzo, though, taking out his counterpart on the side of Chandler Gilbert. Oh, but they're getting dangerously low on this side. Here comes the dragon, out comes the nano. Does it get any value? Mm, not really. That's that's a little bit sad to see. They are picking up kills here and there, but dare I say, slightly wasted ultimates here on, on the side of Glendale. Not very well executed, but you know, if it works, it works as they continue to march down the stretch here. Yeah, no, they ended up wasting quite a bit of time just not, you know, utilizing the ults as a combo, using them split. It still ended up working out, but just not the way they intended. Yeah, it worked out in the end, but they do, they do, and they do have less time on their time bank. We'll see how this affects them coming into the home stretch. If they can, oh! Marshmallow goes down instantly. The res comes out. Oh, but their dragons are better. And the flex. They're going to try to counter with a nano here. Oh, it's not, not doing too hot here. The Zarya with a nano is very powerful, but not powerful enough, it seems. They get one kill, but they cannot save the point. They almost get the second point, but now they have to go all the way back with only a minute and a half left. They do have Deadeye and Grav. Maybe they can make a better use of this combo, but it's just, I don't i don't know what to call it. Glendale is just not playing at their best, it seems. I mean, Chandler right now doesn't really have any ult, so if there's a time where they can cap the second point it's right now. It is now or never for Glendale as we're Approaching the one minute mark for this for this attacking round. They can't afford to take any losses here. They really need to get this 
done, and they really need to get this done quickly. Oh, they get down the Reaper. That's an early pick. They can press this advantage and take the second point here. But no, oh, here comes out the grab. There's no shield, but oh, but he's got his, he's, uh, he's got oh, his, it it's not flex. There we go. The they managed to, mm-hmm. The High Noon didn't take the kills necessarily, but it still gave them, it still got rid of enough resources for them to pick them up after the fact. There's point two with an extra two minutes on the clock. Let's see if they can make it all the way down the stretch. Chandler Gilbert, kind of shaky. This was, this is not the, the absolute unstoppable force we witnessed last round. They're playing spectacularly, but Glendale's putting up a spectacular fight here, coming into the home stretch. Really back under the Zarya. We'll see if this happens to change anything. Ooh, they're burning. Ooh, that's, that's... Ooh, a late nano here. This might turn the fight. Chandler Gilbert turns and runs. Oh, but Whirly is in their back line doing the exact same thing. And Whirly, dare I say, did it better. Oh, a solo grab. A very interesting play. It doesn't work out. And now they're down a grab. 50 seconds here left for Glendale. Yeah, once again, they just it's gonna take realize Grab Dragon again. It's gonna take a miracle here coming down the stretch for them to win this game. Artillery is up, Graviton Surge as well. Up for Chandler Gilbert. They're really gonna need, Glendale's really gonna need to pull out all the stops here if they even wanna consider winning this round. We've reached the 30 second mark. It's do or die here for Glendale. They've got Grab, they've got, or they've, They've, they got dragons. They got transcendence. Can they make it work? Oh, not for war time. Oh, out comes the grab. Will they touch though? They got 14 seconds. Oh no! The grab comes out. It doesn't get any value. They're dropping once again, one by one. No one's on the point to touch. That's game. And the timer hits zero. Oh. Glendale can't make it happen at the last hour. That's unfortunate. They looked really well coming down the stretch there. It looked like Glendale was finally, finally was figuring things out. I, how did that, how did that artillery get a kill through Transcendence? Well, whenever you focus fire on a grab, you can still burn through the Transcendence. Transcendence doesn't make does, your Oh, mortal. it does. Well, yeah, but the, I did, the, it does more than 300 damage in a in a second. Uh, well, that's why I said focus like, fire. So if like the Zara is also shooting them. Well, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, that, yeah, that's true. That's right. That makes more sense. Cause I I, I, I didn't know how much damage artillery did, but yeah. yikes. Anyways. A absolutely dominant performance here by Chandler Gilbert. What else can you say? They, from minute one, they just proved they were the better team here. That's Start. it for this stream. Thanks for tuning in uh, and have a good night.